Hello everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. In today's video I would like to share with you a brand new thrift with me and haul video. This will be the third week that I have been sharing different thrift hauls with you. I have shared a ton of thrift hauls in the past. I have a thrift haul playlist and a garage sale playlist. But I sort of got away from sharing those videos weekly for some time and so this is actually the third week that I've been able to share a new thrifting video with you. So I'm really excited to share with you everything that I found when I went thrifting. Sean and I went to three different thrift stores this past weekend and we found some great stuff. So I would like to start today's video by taking you thrifting with us and then we will come back and I will share a haul of everything that we found. So first, let's go thrifting. were some really, really great finds and some things that I almost picked up and I kind of wish that I had. And there were also some fun random finds like that um, like waiter's tray with the stand. I thought that was so cool and I was so tempted to get it and I thought I could maybe like replace it and fix it but I looked it up and I was like I could just buy one new and it would be about the same price. All right so let's just jump right into this haul. First thing I would like to share with you is something for Sean. So he found this black and gray sweater and I really love the style of it. In the last thrift haul that I shared with you I was actually wearing a vintage Mighty Ducks sweatshirt that Sean had found. So he's sort of been looking for vintage sweatshirts and then just like comfortable fun sweatshirts to wear and so this sort of works for that. Um, it was six dollars and I believe it was half off. The next thing I found will definitely go with my vintage teacher wardrobe fashion that I love to collect. I'm really excited about this. I feel like I could really make this work for my style right now. This is a printed corduroy jumper. What I like about it is it has a lower cut to the side so you would wear it but then this actually probably hits a little closer to your waist and then it has a couple buttons up the side. It is a little longer. It is almost floor length on me. Sorry Finley just started barking but I feel like to make it a little more functional for today I need to maybe make it a little shorter. Oh and you know what I'm just noticing? It doesn't have buttons on this side so it only has buttons on the one side. I kind of wish it had buttons on both sides. This was $5 and I'm pretty sure this was half off as well. I also found a pillowcase that I'm really excited about. You guys know that I have to buy school related things when I see them. Like if there's something that has a school theme to it, I feel like I have to buy it. So I bought this for the fabric. So this is what the pillowcase looks like. And it has the cutest little 
pattern. It has so many different school things to it. Like it has a globe and a chalkboard and apple. It has glue and crayons and a little milk carton. It's just so cute. I was wondering if maybe I would have enough material to make an apron out of it. I think it could be fun to have like an apron at school. Some of my colleagues have them and I just think they're so cute. Oh, I could even like take red fabric and cut out some apples for like pockets to go on it. How cute would that be? I thought this was a fun find for only 50 cents. Anything else I found at a couple different stores. They're local thrift stores and they're like a chain of local thrift stores. So the first thing I found is this pack of doilies and I love the gold doilies. I just think they're so pretty. I mainly purchased it for these gold hearts. The next thing that I found is this beautiful heart shaped basket. It's made of metal. There is no brand on it, but I love that it's like a Valentine's Day theme without being like too much Valentine's Day, if that makes sense. It's sort of just like a piece that you could sit on a table and you wouldn't even really know that it's Valentine's Day unless you looked at the hearts, um, unless you like saw the heart pattern on the side. And maybe it's just my brain seeing it as a heart pattern. It's a good decoration for a holiday without being like too much of that holiday, if that makes sense. It was $4 and it was not half off. I don't think any of the rest of the stuff that I found was half off. The next thing I found, I thought I could use for school. It's this really fun wooden calendar and everything's kind of falling apart in there. It's not actually broken, but I pr I'm pretty sure it was for a school because it has like apples and different like apple theming on the top. What I think is really cool is it has, it's kind of hard to see, but it has all of the months like painted on these little pieces of wood and then it has the days painted on as well. But then there are also sections for like, there's there's a piece for a pumpkin and for um, like a flag and an apple. And I think there might be like a Christmas tree and a heart. So I feel like this is a fun way to display the date in the classroom. Um, that's always one of my favorite things is like calendar time in the classroom. I just think it's so such a fun nostalgic thing for me. I also think it's really important to help children learn the date and you know be able to recognize the date easily it's an important part of elementary school i really love this and i just think it's such a fun find um this was four dollars and it was not half off and i went back and forth with it i thought about getting it and then i was like no i don't need it but i don't know it just made me really feel connected to my classroom and um i just felt really drawn to it so i decided to pick it up i think i'm going to save my favorite thing for last so the next thing is actually something that sean found and he found this really awesome photo frame with a cork board on the bottom i thought this could be really fun to put some pictures in the top of our family and friends and then be able to you know have different menus on here for takeout restaurants or tickets to a show or you know a variety of things you could put on the bottom right here so i'm really excited that sean found this and then convinced me to buy it as well i really i'm really quite happy with it last thing i would like to share with you is a really unique find and if you're new to my channel you might not know that i have a niece and her name is oakley and so for short we call her oak sometimes i saw this photo frame sitting in like a pile of different picture frames and there was something with an acorn on it and I was like oh that's kind of cool it looked a little more vintage and it looked like an older style I decided to look at it a little more closely and it is perfect for my niece so let me share it with you it does need to have some cleaning done to it it is sealed and in the package but I think that there there is a hole in the side of the package so I'm going to need to clean it when I open it but look at how perfect this is I am so excited so up at the top it says from a little acorn at the bottom it says, a mighty oak does grow. I just thought it was so perfect for her. So each grade level that she goes into, we will put a different picture of her in there. I think it's so fun and such a unique find that it works perfectly with her name. This is just the coolest thing and I there are, there's no date on it. So I can't wait to start putting pictures in here for her um, and then just be able to track her growing every single year. And that's all for this Thrift With Me and Haul video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming thrifting with Sean and me. We had so much fun and we were able to find so many fun new things. I love thrifting and I love being able to find unique pieces, kind of like that picture frame that I just shared with you. Um, and I feel like everything has a story. And that's another thing I love about thrifting is that everything comes second hand so somebody owned it before you since I found that really cool piece that's kind of connected to my niece in the comments below I was wondering if you could share with me a piece that you maybe found that has a really fun and interesting story that goes with how it was meant to be something that you owned if that makes sense like for me I have a niece named Oakley and so that piece is perfect for her so let me know in the comments below if you ever found a piece that was sort of like destined to be something that you owned. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com.
please follow me on Instagram at Thrifted Living. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!